What's up guys, it's Lucas and in this video I'm going to be explaining the Discord webhook and how you can add it to your bot. But just before I get into that, to give you a brief description of what it is, a Discord webhook, you know, as defined by Discord, is an easy way for you to, to get automated messages and data updates sent to your text channel or your server. And uh, by server we mean the Discord server, I'll be explaining to you in a bit, you know, how we, uh, how we create one. But uh, just to give you a bit of the, the benefits of it, uh, you know, first of all, it's not really a mandatory step that you have to take. Uh, it's just a way for you to keep things organized. It's a way for you to get notifications uh, about whether your tasks got added to cart or whether you had a task that checked out an item, you know, and just have all of that sent to your Discord. And, you know, I, I, I personally find it beneficial, uh, especially if I'm using a lot of different bots at the same time. So, you know, that's that's one point where you'd want to consider using a webhook. Just keeps things centralized, everything gets sent to your uh, to a single place. And you keep track you can just keep track, you know, of your history as well of all the different cops that you've had over time. So uh, you the, to add the webhook, you know, you do want to go to the settings and to the notification settings. And here is where you can see you get notified by Discord. Uh, and this is where you can kind of get notifications about what you know you pick if you want to get notifications when an item gets added to cart or whether you know a task checks out uh, so I usually like to tick both of these and I tick this as well now this is where you're gonna have to add your webhook URL and this is how I'm gonna explain to you right now in this video how to do that so what you're gonna want to do is you want to go to discord all right and here you have a list of all your servers. You're gonna wanna go to the very end, all right? And you're gonna select add server. And you're going to create your own server. And you could just name it whatever you want. I'll just leave it as that. And now you've created your own server. And uh, what you're gonna wanna do next is go to your server settings. You go to webhooks. You create a webhook, you can name it whatever you want, you can select whatever channel you want within that server to receive these webhook notifications. And here's where you have that webhook URL. So you're going to copy it, alright, and you click save. Now you've created your webhook. Any notifications that get sent to uh, your server will get sent to the general text channel since I selected that. And uh, you're gonna go back to the bot now. You go and you just attach your Discord webhook here. And you click save. And that's pretty much just the webhook process. Uh, these are not related to the webhook, but you could also have, you know, notify by sound on when capture loads and whenever, uh, you know, you get any sort of notification. Uh, I don't really use any of these other ones here as well. No need for that. Always. Uh, make sure you click save after you save your settings here uh, you should be good